in your face, Wither Man. Right. Wither Man. Did who he, did if, he mean Lucas? I'm not too? mistaken. He means Lucas and Ken. I believe okay. it's a co-main situation that's uh, developed further after initial Ken buffs. I know him for his Lucas. I don't yeah. know him for his Ken that much. I know him for his Lucas, and I think after the Ken buffs happened, he's always had a Ken, but maybe he's working on it. I don't know if it's a co-main situation or where it's going, but it looks like I do see a Lucas on the screen. And the other person playing Joker. So Joker's pretty good. Joker's a pretty good character. So we'll see a lot of Joker today, I assume. Joker doesn't have overwhelmingly fast attacks. He has pretty solid fast movement. Back air pretty good, though. Back air is really fast. Yeah. Besides that, nothing else. Back air is what, like frame eight? Something it's like something that? Something really fast. It's not big. like oppressively fast. Yeah. But it's right. a pretty fast move. The rest of his moves are okay. You know, in speed, he does mostly outmaneuver characters. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons why Lucas might actually not struggle as much as one would look like on paper when you initially look and say, Joker is a speedy character who oppresses people with his movement. When you look at Lucas and say, well, Lucas stops people from being able to move by threatening with PK Fire oh, and Zare. Is he not going Lucas? Or is he not? Or he's going Greninja. So the, the way different characters. Oh, wrong fourth. Okay. So I assume Lucas Joker. Yes. Okay. So if we're going under the impression that they're still going Lucas Joker, I know you say like joke. Joker really uh, thrives on his movement. Yeah. And Lucas really thrives on preventing other people moving the way they want to. Yeah. So I know this matchup, kind of, because mm -hmm. I'm training poems with Batman, and he made both these characters. Right. Luke got some nice buffs that are, like, being very overlooked. He got right. some really nice buffs. From what I've heard, these might be slight exaggerations from really happy Lucas mains. It's both. You, you see or it. just how nasty this character is, but I've heard, like, forward tilt is now, like, forward tilt. Insane. Forward tilt. It's that good. Like... Move is nuts, and we'll see everything working yeah. in action. They gave, him, here. they gave him Smash 4 PK Fire back, which is a very, very good move. Right, and if, if you weren't aware, didn't play that game, that move has oh. kind of very... Ooh, he might be just dead. No. Oh, he's dead yeah. now. Because I, of the setup afterwards, right? I think they buffed forward air, too, I think. It's very possible. I don't know for a fact, but we'll find out. I know Luke got Nair, a nice buff. <laughs> Nair is still not what it once was, but he gets a little combo off of it. Magnet's actually like really... It's not Neff Magnet, but it's very... Good. Mm -hmm. Off mash got more visibility frames. I know that. Okay, so Witherman, I think, was getting a little bit excited with his lead, yeah. and he's now holding forward a little bit. That's not typically the Lucas archetype, but he sees that he has a lead on his opponent. He recognizes that his opponent oh, lacks. Yeah. His opponent is really lacking in defensive options. Ultra here is not respecting Lucas's offense. So people are saying like Lucas isn't that good, but this character looks pretty nice. Yeah, Lucas is definitely. Luka got some stuff, for sure. He has combos, right? Yeah. He has oppressive uh, ability to control stage. Yeah. He, his Zero is insane. And he has an X factor, right? He has PK freeze. He has... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that, <He has> down <laughs> for smash. example. Down smash is insane. Mm -hmm. Full smash kills for Like, down to a full smash kills, like... 100, just guaranteed. Up smash is a really strong attack if you're able to find setups. It has invincibility. It so has invincibility. You can, like... Bait someone to attack you while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Punish a really obvious landing yeah. aerial or something. Or well, they have no jump and have to land on you. Yeah. It's dead. You can force people into checkmate situations where here comes up smash. You yeah. have no choices. This is going to and kill you. If you get Thunder off stage, it's still really good. Yeah. It's not quite the same as Ness's, but it's like sometimes. It's a different good. Like, like yeah. depending on matchup, it can be better or worse. Yes. Yeah. Are you going hero now? Pokemon <gasps> More characters I know! Double swap on characters. But you know a lot about Pokemon Trainer. Do you know? I know this matchup too. Swapping. Explain to me kind of how this works. So Hero Ultra is already doing one thing wrong. This matchup is Squirtle, Squirtle all the way through. Because Hero is a character who struggles when other people oppress him. Yes. Right? When Squirtle just uses his frame data, Hero cannot do much. Mm -hmm. Ivy still has some trouble for some reason. He has some trouble like with swords and like projectiles are annoying. Ooh, see, the thing about yeah. Ivy is Ivy kind of sits back and creates a zone, and when yeah. you're sitting back creating a zone, you're giving Hero space to think, pull open this menu, and any matchup where you're giving Hero the time to pull out the menu, you're giving him the X Factor and giving him the ability to set the pace of a match. And you never want that. Okay, Ad Ledger's Hero is one of the toughest spots in the game. Whenever you get a good spell, it's rough. PT already struggles at ledge, yeah, especially much. Ivysaur, right? Uh, Bind Whip helps a lot, but with Hero, Hero it won't matter too much. Mm -hmm. and now we have Accelerado Excel on the screen. Accelerado is so good. And Charizard <laughs> might deal with 
this character a little bit better than Ivy, in my opinion. Yeah, a little bit, but... But, you know, it's marginal, and also when the opponent has Accelerado, I think that's out the window. So now we're seeing... Oh! There's like an 80% chance of that happening at that percent. So yeah, it's, it's happening. it scales with percent. Yeah. He was a death percent to quite a bit of spells. Uh, Weatherman kind of just doing hero stuff real quick. Mm -hmm. It uh, seemed like... You, like you were saying, Ultra's not approaching with the things that are very good in the matchup. All right, that's... that's good job, Witherman. Uh, yeah. Hello. Kamikaze yeah. beats shields. It just goes through shields. A lot of people don't know that. Yes, and uh, Ivasaur is like, he was running low on invincibility frame, so he mm -hmm. had to get up. So it's like, he had to like go all the way away from him to yeah. avoid that, which he wouldn't do. It is a very wide hitbox. Yeah, so you have to be... Attentive. It like it looks big, and it's bigger than what it looks. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, 